I hit him up uh, and he pretty much was like set to go. So like it was really weird at first because And uh, we got one more from Jamil. Hey, B. Jeff, Colin, how's it going? It's Jamil in the show. My question for you is, what was it like working with another producer on all of the songs for the album? That man's never not smiling. Every yeah. Time I've ever seen him, it's always that big grin. Yep. <laughs> um, what was it like? Uh, originally, I had to pretty much I was I did a lot of like contemplating on who I wanted to help me out with the production on it. Mm. Um, I had the thought process of just being like, all right, I'm gonna send it all to Tyrell Fanaticus since I work with him so much. I even thought about just sending the whole thing to Jamil and having Jamil work on it. Um, but ultimately, I was like, well, I work with these guys all the time. I want to work with someone more outside of the genre, outside of my contemporaries that I normally work with or that like I have, I don't even listen to. Right. And so, uh, Diggity D or Aaron Rigg, him and I go way back. We went to college together at Capitol and I had done a couple songs with him before. And when I first moved to Columbus, I had pretty much opened for him for his uh, release show for one of his albums. And so, I already had the relationship there and I just kind of was like, well, this dude literally hears per certain parts of the songs that I'm literally looking for someone else to have the ear to be able to hear. Right. And so I hit him up uh, and he pretty much was like set to go. So like it was really weird at first because I thought we'd just be sending stuff back and forth. He'd take care of whatever right. and send me back. And then eventually we were like, we have to sit down in the same room together. Stuff will not get done. It will take way too long. So I brought him the stems, we sat down, and originally I thought I was being like, I, I had to like tell him like, yo, if I'm like straight up being too bossy, like kind of like being a dick about this, like, it, like you can tell me and let me know, cause like, if, yeah, I know it's like my music and I know you're a musician too, so you know we're kind of sensitive about our shit, like right. so it's kind of funny that uh, if you, you know, don't want to say anything, but I totally understand if you like I'm being a dick and he was pretty much like no I agree with a lot of the stuff you're like a lot of your sentiments So a lot of it was like a huge communication barrier that like we had a breakdown one day after like working on a few songs It's kind of just like all right I need to know where you're at mentally You need to know where I'm at mentally on this project and so that we can work together right. like in more uh, Fluid motion and like from there like we were cranking things out. It was like Pretty interesting, mostly because I had all the melodic stuff done and I just really needed him to rework all my drums. And pretty much a lot of the stuff he kept telling me was like, man, these pockets are pretty much there. I'm just gonna be taking some stuff out, changing some sounds around, and then he added some transitions in. It was like pretty seamless once we got through that barrier. That's awesome. A lot of your music is real, you could tell it's a real personal thing. So I could kind yeah. of see you kind of taking that, you know, this is how it needs to be done. Mm -hmm. you know, it's funny too how you mentioned how you're already doing research to see how things would be better received but yet my impression from your music is like it's more of a therapeutic release more mm -hmm. so than looking for that commercial gratification yeah. um i would say that yeah definitely uh especially because i don't really i'm not really looking i just love i love commercial music that's really right. what it is i love the sound of like the lush vibes you know like piano like chords that are like everyone uses um same certain progressions that like every hip-hop sample has ever used period like there are certain things that i'm just like man i want to flip that in my own way kind of like uh honestly kind of, kind of like a donald glover kind of situation mm -hmm. where he likes to take popularized sounds and just kind of like make them as weird as possible and experiment on top of like an already existing like sound gotcha that makes sense